All right, guys, so now we have a dude that can run and jump, and he also has a nice little world that he can, you know, play in. But the thing is, there's really nothing interesting for him to do. He's just, you know, just having a good time all the time running around. Pretty freaking boring. So let's go ahead and add an enemy. So he'll actually have something to kill, and something can also uh, injure him and kill him as well. So in order to add an enemy, of course, we need to add another spray object. So double click anywhere in your game, select sprite, and insert this, and just go ahead and click anywhere right here for now. Now the first thing we want to do is actually import the sprite strip of the enemy. Now mine is right here, and of course it's a, just a snail that crawls around. So select the strip itself and hit open, and that's proper. And of course, just like before, we're going to delete the first one, hold shift, crop all of them, and also on the origin, actually have the origin tool selected already, hit 2. So remember, you always want it at the bottom middle for platform games, enemies, and your main player. And apply this origin to the entire animation. So now once we verify that, alright, good to go. However, there's a couple um, things that you guys might want to tweak. For me, I'm going to go ahead and select this animation. And first of all, I'm going to speed them up a little bit to 15 because uh, 5 is just like really slow. And another thing that I want to do is I'm going to set this looping to yes. So basically, this is just um, an animation of a snail crawling. And of course, once he gets done with like one thrust or whatever you call it, um, I just want him to keep doing it over and over again until either we kill him or he kills us. So close out of that, and it's going to place him on your screen. And I'm going to rename him Snail Enemy. So now we have this snail that's, uh, well, pretty much behaving just like we wanted to, animating properly. And now let's go ahead and add some intelligence. So basically, just like any other platform game, the goal of our player is to kill the snail. And if you ever played Super Mario or Sonic the Hedgehog, which I'm sure you guys have, you can kill enemies by jumping on top of them. However, if you just run into them from the side or they run into you, then they hurt you. So that's how it can hurt you and that's how you kill them. So now let's add this intelligence to our game. So the first thing that I like to do is actually add um, another behavior to this player. So click on the player and then click behaviors and I'm gonna add this flash behavior right here and what this does is whenever it's activated it makes your player temporary, temporarily blink. Now I don't even know if you guys noticed this but pretty much in every platform game you ever played whenever your user got hurt he blinked like uh, on and off and that just resembles, that's just feedback to uh, the user playing your game that all right that's not good I probably shouldn't run into the snail from the side and then you can like deduct a health or kill your player take a life whatever but whenever he blinks it means this dude's getting hurt so now I want to test for a couple things I first want to test when this player collides with this snail whenever they collide it can mean two, one of two things if he was jumping on top of them when he collided then that means the snail gets killed if he collides with them from the side that means the dude gets killed so let's go ahead in our event sheets and add that functionality right now so the first thing we need is to check is the player colliding with a snail so player box and there's actually under collision is on collision with another object so we want to say when this player is colliding with this snail hit done and then say what do we want to test well we actually need to test two things but first let's test if he is falling in other words did he jump on the snail so whenever your uh, event selected hit S and that's gonna add a sub event and of course we need to test is this player box falling and there's actually a really cool right here on our platform is falling so of course if the player box was falling that must have meant he was jumping, in other words, jumped on the snail. So the action, I guess I'll add the action right now. The action for this, whenever he jumps on the snail, we just want to kill the snail. In other words, snail enemy, destroy. 
So, did the player collide with the snail? If so, was he falling? If he was falling or jumping on the snail, kill the snail. Now, I also want to add one other thing, and if you right click this right here, you can press add another condition. Now, well, let me go ahead and type it, and then you guys are going to understand what I mean. The player box, which is the player itself, I'm going to test the Y position, compare Y right here. And I want to ch test F less to snail enemy. Y. And this is pretty much saying the Y's snail position. And I'm going to click done. And then I'm instead of uh, talking you guys through this, I'm going to um, just code it all and then um, tell you guys what it means in a second. Set platform vector if I can. Set vector Y. Negative 700. So platform vector Y, 700, looks good. All right, so this is basically saying, well, I'll give you guys like the, how to, what your game is gonna look at it and pretty much ask, did the player collide with the snail? If he did, make sure that your player was falling and also make sure the player's position is above the snail. And the reason I added this other thing right here is because you don't wanna, have this case where they like jump on the snail and they're falling but they but the player is like right here where their position is below the snail but um they're still falling in this case you want the player to die so basically what we're checking is are they jumping on top of them properly where they need to be so if so destroy the snail of course that's the purpose and also what this does is it sets the vector y of the player to minus 700. Now, what that does is it basically makes his position shoot up a little bit because negative in the Y position is up. So you basically hop on the snail and if you kill it, then it's just gonna make you bounce a little bit. So instead of just doing that, I'll show you guys. So jump and you see how there's that little bounce right at the end. I think that gives it a really cool effect. So again, if you don't, if you just jump in like that, you just land on the ground and stick still. But once you land on the snail, you give it a little bounce and it just lets your player react. And uh, I don't know, it's just better feedback like you actually did something. So that's better than jumping right through the snail and just landing on the ground. So now that we know how to kill the snail, what we need to do now is actually have that snail move around left to right and we'll do a couple other things as well before this game is actually complete. So for now, thank you guys for watching, and well, I'll see you in the next video.